Everybody, welcome back to another live stream. Today, we have a giveaway to celebrate 85,000 subscribers. Thank you, everybody that has already hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate you joining us day in and day out. I cannot um, remember the last time when I missed an upload. I just um, really appreciate your support, and it just um, thank you for letting me make my hobby, um, you know, just a secondary income here. I'm just so appreciate appreciative of uh all you guys so to give back today we have probably about 100 total cards or so there is maybe uh eight, i think there's 86 here I, I wanted to do 85 cards for um 85,000, but i think there might be 86 and then there's some additional stuff from some recent videos that we're going to give away to just people in the live stream tonight um, some of the stuff that we pulled out of the recent pen packs and a, and also a bonus pen pack that was put together by Mr. Dave Penn from the pen packs. So without further ado, here's the way it works. I have all these cards that I already previewed in the uh, on Tuesday in a video. Um, we, uh, I don't know, 15-minute video went through all of these cards. I'm not going to go through them all again, but uh, I will see. Uh, you'll see them as they come up again, but... Uh, there's some good stuff in here, all the stuff I've pulled over the past couple months on camera. Uh, a lot of it was from subscription boxes, Mystery Box Mondays, and whenever I get good cards of those, I put them aside uh, for you guys. And I've been doing that, um, I'll be doing that for the uh, 90k giveaway as well. There's Stemmer's Hits. Thank you very much, Stemmer's Hits, with a $5 super chat. I really appreciate that. Nathan Sexton Gaming as well. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate that. And a mess of things says, here we go. Good luck, everyone. Kazoo Fanfare. Thank you, a mess of things. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate those super chats, guys. Now, here's how you get in if you haven't already um, watched the video. You have to be subscribed, and you have to be publicly subscribed. So the way you do that is you go on the desktop to YouTube. You hover over that little circular avatar in the upper right-hand corner. It'll bring down a, a, a bring up a drop down box. You click on settings, you go to privacy, and then you find where it says "Make my subscriptions public" and you toggle that off. Um, the way this works is we will make sure and verify every single winner to make sure that they are subscribed. Now I feel like most of the time we've done this before. Maybe a quarter, a third of the people aren't publicly subscribed, so we can't verify it, so we just move on to the next person. Brian Smith, thank you very much. Good evening to you as well, and thank you for being here. So if you haven't already done that, make sure you make your subscription public again. Desktop, if you're on a phone right now, then you're going to have to bring up Safari or whatever your um, browser is and do it that way. Philip Optic, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll split the stack. We'll go right into the middle. We'll start pulling these out. All right, so our first card up, it's a nice Gavin Lux on-card auto from Freshman Flash. Let's go ahead and put it on the board. I'm going to bring the handy-dandy computer in. This is what I'm using to select our winners. This website is called Pick a Winner, and maybe I should have cleaned the screen a little bit. I'm going to hit the lights there. A little bit of grossness on that screen. All right, so let's fetch all of the... Um, comments. I think there was over 3,000. Now we're having 100 winners or so, so roughly 1 in 35 is your chance of getting something. I'm going to take the replies off. Um, Dirk says, good luck to everyone this evening. Enjoy the stream. Hit that like button, Dirk. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out Dirk's channel. He does a lot of card searching videos. And DeKine Sports Collectibles with a $5 super chat. Thank you, DeKine. I really appreciate that as well. All right, so first up is the Gavin Lux autograph. And I, now that I think about it, I have to write a... I should have had the note ready. I tried to get everything ready to go, and I forgot that I'm going to have to type a note to each and every winner. So I'm just going to type it up one time here at the beginning, and then um, I'll just copy and paste that for every other... Um, winner. So this is only going to be one time we're loading these comments. You can see there's 3,600, 3,700, 3,300. There was 3,700 total comments, but 3,300 unique comments. So here we go. This is for Gavin Lux. Let's pick the first winner, and then we have to make sure they're publicly subscribed. So Mac, now the question here was, who do you got winning the World Series? 
He's got the Dodgers versus White Sox. We'll take it. That's a pretty good pick. I wonder what the weirdest or most outlandish pick is going to be. If we Are we going to have anyone say the Pirates tonight in the World Series? Or are we going to have anyone say, who's, who else is looking like they're going to be a terrible team? Maybe the Orioles. No offense to the fans of those two teams. A message thing says, Bo Jackson Auto getting mailed out tomorrow for one of the free team spots from February Minute Rips. What have I signed myself up for? That's the things. Thank you very much. Breaks are very, very time-consuming. That's for sure. Let's check out Mac36 and see if he is publicly subscribed. And he is. So congratulations. And looks like he wasn't subscribed and somebody actually helped him out. Look at this. ZMCC is like, hey, man, you're not publicly subscribed. And... Um, he fixed it, and now you just want a Gavin Lux Auto because of that. So, Mac, I'm going to type you a little note here to tell you how to claim your card. Congrats. You've just won a card. Please view the live stream from Sunday to see which one it was and put that card in the heading of your email. Please email me your full address um, to, and then here's the email address that I'll have you send it to. Note the underscore, pesky underscore, the one I made when I was like 16 years old. Anything else I'm missing here, Heather? Congrats, you just won a card. Please view the live stream from Sunday to see which one and put that card in the heading of your email. Uh, terms, uh, please respond within 24 hours. You must put the card you won as the heading of your email and include your YouTube name. So that should be enough for me to figure everything out. So Matt, congratulations. I'm going to copy and paste that so I can just do that over and over again. We've got our first winner in the book, and there's plenty of more to come. Mac 36 has the Gavin Lux. All right, so next up, card number two. Let's do the Pete Alonso rookie card. So I have this, the uh, light off just so it's, there's not a glare on the computer, so you're not going to be able to see the cards in full vivid effect. So our next winner, John Von Cohen says, Congrats on 85K. Great channel. JVK Cards and Collectibles almost ready for 200 subs. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. Benjamin Teplin is the next winner here. Benjamin Teplin, is he subscribed? And I see a new um, member there. Jeb, thank you very much for the additional support. I really appreciate that. And we have a winner here. It's going to be Benjamin Teplin. So I'm writing your name on the, the card as well, trying to make this as easy as possible for myself and everybody else. There's your information. Let's switch over to a black Sharpie. I'm, for some reason, I'm using a pink Sharpie. I'm not really showing up. All right, we've got two cards down. Next up, we've got the John Smoltz rookie card from 1989 Fleer. By the way, I don't know why this card just reminded me of this, but Heather and I hit the road today for about, what, seven, eight hours? Ken Parrish has the, the Braves taking it. Went for a uh, card search, and uh, we'll probably be, be, be bringing that video to you soon. Ken is publicly subscribed. Congrats. Love it when people are publicly subscribed. It just makes things move along. Ken Paris, you got the John Smoltz rookie card. There's your information. Yeah, Mac36, you did win. Congrats, man. All right, next up, we have a game-worn jersey relic of Reggie Jackson. Game-worn Reggie Jackson, Hall of Famer. Doug says, how do you publicly subscribe? To be publicly subscribed, you go to this little circle in the upper corner of your screen where it says account. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, and that'll bring up a drop-down box. Click settings, go to privacy, and then uh, publicly subscribe. All right, Dylan A is the winner of this Reggie Jackson. Let's see if Dylan, If by the way, if I miss your comments, I'm sorry. I'm trying to look at my computer screen as well. Dylan A, um, phew, we've got a bunch of Dylans, and uh, I'm not seeing Dylan A's comment. So let me try this again. D just plain old Dylan. Dylan, uh, I'm, there we go. All right, so the Dylan A didn't work, but Dylan did work. Dylan's got the cards versus Yankees. Congrats, you've just won the Reggie Jackson game-worn jersey relic. Dylan A, nice one right there. 
We got a super chat from Boofus. Says, congrats on 85,000 subscribers. Did you receive my package on Friday? I think I did. Um, I got a bunch of packages in on Friday, Boofus, and I did see yours. I haven't opened any of them up yet, but I really appreciate that. Um, we'll be opening that up at some point here. I, I always, I'll go through and I'll check everything probably tomorrow and see if any of them are Mystery Box Monday ones. Uh, we'll, we'll do a fan Mystery Box Monday one um, tomorrow, and then I'm hoping that next Monday we have the Fishing for Trout series where I bought every single mystery pack so that somebody is going to get the Mike Trout rookie card BGS9. It's like a $2,000 card in one of their mystery packs. I bought the entire inventory of all 100 packs. There's a Pete Rose 1980 Tops card. Let's see who gets the Rose next one up. Pete Rose 1980 Tops. I picked up a couple Pete Rose cards today. Steve Klemek, or Klemek, not sure how uh, if I'm pronouncing that right. I do apologize. And uh, Donald Trump has just super chatted us. <laughs> Says, um, video game emoji, try again, Donald. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, man. And, um... <laughs> Shane is not publicly subscribed, so we have to pull another one for the Pete Rose. And now it's going to be Kristen Sandberg. I don't know if there's any relation to Ryan there. Sandberg. Kristen Sandberg is not publicly subscribed. So now we're running into our first non-subscribed. Well, you, they might be subscribed. They're just not publicly subscribed. We've got an Alex Parra. We've got the Dodgers versus Angels. Let's see if they're publicly subscribed. Someone can take this off of my hands. Yes, Alex is publicly subscribed. Congratulations. You've got the Pete Rose. 1980 Tops card. Alex Parra. All right, next card up. I'm just going to keep pulling them out of this the, the hat here. Another older one. 1983 Reggie Jackson. Let's see who gets this one. Mr. October, he's got the M's and Padres for the World Series. <laughs> he's a delusional Mariners fan. Hey, maybe they bring up Jared Kelnick and Julio Rodriguez. Those guys just rake. Man, that would be interesting to see the Mariners make the playoffs for the first time. I totally forget your name now. <laughs> Mid, Mid Dougie. No wonder I forgot it. That's a tough one. Let's see if I can get it right here on the first try. Med Dougie is publicly subscribed. Congratulations. You've got the Reggie Jackson 1983 Tops card. We still have um, the one of one um, Harmon Killebrew coming up. The Bat Relic of Ted Williams. Next up, we have a Sapphire. Tough one to find. An orange Sapphire out of 25 of Ruggie Odor. That is a nice one. Let's see who gets that one. Up to 500 likes on the video. Thanks, guys. Alvino Chavez has the Dodgers versus Strohs. Let's see if Alvino is publicly subscribed. Alvino. If you're wondering if or how to see if they are not publicly subscribed. Nice story about Target there. Man, um, stopped in a couple Walmarts today when Heather and I were out and about, but nothing. Nathan Sims. Let's see if he's publicly subscribed. To be publicly subscribed, you go up to the go to YouTube first. He is publicly subscribed. Congratulations, Nathan. You've got the Ruggie Odor. You click on that little circular avatar in the upper right-hand corner. It'll bring up a drop-down box. You click on Settings. Then you click on Privacy. And then there'll be a little toggle switch to turn your subscriptions to public so that people can see them. We have an autograph from Logan Webb. It's a rookie card, a Logan Webb. Auto, on-card auto from Stadium Club. This one's going to Jack Holland. Jack Holland has purchased into breaks before. Now, let's see if he's been publicly subscribed. And he is indeed. So, Jack, congratulations. You just got the Logan Webb autograph. Very, very nice. This is for Jack. Get your name on there. So, what we're pulling, if you're wondering where the comments are coming from, maybe um, you were away from the channel for a few days or whatnot, I'm pulling them from the Tuesday video. It's the 85K video. Here's a Randy Rosarena Bowman Chrome rookie card coming up next. Yeah, just leave a comment there. And I just said, tell me your World Series predictions right now. Chad Markham says, here we go. Chad, thank you very much. That's pretty nice. Curtis has the Padres thinking they're going to get it done. So let's see if Curtis is publicly subscribed. Hit that button there. He is not. That's a disappointment. Let's go ahead and pick another one. Neil Arnett. Let's see if Neil Arnett is publicly subscribed. 
Um, Neil Arnett is indeed publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and send you your directions there, Neil Arnett. I'm not going to reset the comments for someone that just left a comment on that video now. Otherwise, we might have multiple winners come up here, people that already pulled. Um, just going to have to, we'll do it for the 90K giveaway, so you'll get in with that. All right, here's our next one. Next up, this is going to be for a 1979 Topps Jim Palmer, Hall of Famer Jim Palmer. Heather says, Eric, hey, Heather, I see you now. Did I miss something, Heather? Um, Heather's giving me a heads up. Um, let's see if I missed. I think I missed the Super Chat. Ryan says, if I do win, how do I put the name of the card in the heading of my email? Um, all right. Um, good question, Ryan. So let's say you would win this Jim Palmer. All you do is put um, Jim Palmer. Um, nice one right there, Jim Palmer. I just looked in the last giveaway and said to reply to the comment. Oh, okay, Heather. Yeah, well, I'll start doing that. Thank you very much. You are al you're always have everything um, under control, Heather. We, we had such a nice day together. Wasn't that a nice last 24 hours we had? Jim Palmer. So to answer your question there, Ryan, if you win, put Jim Palmer 1979 tops. And that's that's it. And then you put your address in there. So Rob Simchak, I hope I said that right, has this one. Simchak. Let's see if... Oh, I probably spelled it wrong. S-Y-M. Yes, I indeed did. Sorry about that. S-Y-M-C-Z-A-K. There it is. You are publicly subscribed. So you've got the Jim Palmer coming your way. And I'm going to add what Heather just said. Respond to this comment with the first five letters of your email address so I can verify that it's really you that has won. It's a little added extra step for verification. So, Rob, congratulations on that, Jim Palmer. Rob Simchak. By the way, I've got some extra time, by the way. Pretty excited about this. Um, all the Patreon packages are done for February, so I've got some extra time over the next couple days. I'm actually planning on getting all these cards in the mail by Wednesday at the latest, so you should have these a lot faster than I think last time. I just got bogged down with packages, and it took me like a month to get most of them out. There's a Willie McCovey 1973 Tops card. Let's see who's getting the McCovey 73. Picked up, um, I think I picked up at least one or two. I know I picked up at least one 73 card today. It might have been two or three. I'll probably bring that video to you on Tuesday. Chris Skeen's got the Rays and Padres. E Ethan's Elvis cover says, what's up, everyone? Ethan, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check him out. He's up to about 6,000 subscribers. And Raymond says, congrats on 85K. Thank you very much, Raymond and Ethan. I really appreciate that, guys. Hope you will check out both of their channels as Chris Skeen has won the Willie McCovey. Chris Skeen. For the Jabs Family Box, those are those have been cut off. Um, I made all of those, and they're all in the mail. So those are all, all out. I, I don't want to do any more else. I'd have to open up more hobby boxes, and I'd have a whole bunch of packs left over. So if you if you missed the initial um, February Jabs Family Box, I'm sorry about that. You'll have to wait until the March one. I do have, uh, however, a bunch of December ones left over, and that's kind of why I stopped... Now I just make them to order, and then I do a, a done date, and then I I just um, I send them out. Chicago Infinity says, let's get to 1,000 likes. Chicago, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Next up is the 83 Eddie Murray. But Andrew Horman has won this one. By the way, guys, nice job with the publicly subscribed comments. Um, lot, to, um, Of course, I say that, and Andrew is not publicly subscribed. In past giveaways, we've had uh, large portions, maybe like 30%, 40% of people not hitting the publicly subscribe button. Let's see if Joe Truman can take this card off of our hands. Joe Truman is publicly subscribed. You got it. Congratulations on the Eddie Murray 1983 Tops card. Joe Truman with with one N. How many cards do you give away once you hit one million subs? I'll tell you what, if we hit a million subscribers, I'll give away a million cards. How's that sound? Million card giveaway. Obviously, it wouldn't be a million winners. I'd probably do bulk stuff. There's Steve Carlton, 1977 tops. Let's see who gets that one. A little off center, but still a nice Steve Carlton card. And it's going to be Nicholas Arvidson. Nicholas Arvidson. Let's check out him. 
Arvidsson. By the way, we still have a pen pack to open up for some additional stuff. We'll give those away soon. He's got the Twins over the Padres in six. Interesting prediction. So, Nicholas, congratulations. Nicholas Arvidsson. Got you. All right, who's up next? How about we do a Luis Robert rookie card? Luckily, I already had this one, so we can definitely give this one away. It's a Alan and Ginter Luis Robert rookie card from 2020. Very nice card. Pulled that out of one of the subscription boxes. Philip Optic with a $2 super chat. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Travis Beatty loves the Willie Mays Deco Edge Auto. Um, that's still coming up. We'll be getting to that Willie Mays. Um, so Travis Beatty is not publicly subscribed. We have to choose another one. Our next person is going to be... Um, don't know what that says, but we'll see if they're publicly subscribed or not. Do their last name. A basie, a bassy. Hopefully, I, I don't, I don't want to say it wrong. Jason says, "Hey, Eric. Hope you had a good day. Saw online that Donruss release date moved to March fifth. Jason, thank you very much. I did see that um, my case guy said that it was going to be delayed. He didn't know how long. So March fifth is the date now. I'm glad you let me know. Somebody in the comments had a really cool idea. I don't know if this is something you'd be interested in or not, but they said." You know what you should do? You should do a live stream of you putting together the entire set of 2021 tops just from hand. Like I just sit here and put it together and talk to you guys. Maybe show you how to put a set together. Everyone has their different ways, but I'll show you how I do it. And then uh, maybe that'll get some maybe kids interested in putting sets together uh, just to see how easy it really is to do. I don't know. Might be we we haven't done anything like that ever. I wouldn't do like a standalone video on that because it would just be like us looking at me putting the set together for an hour. But that way we could just chat and I could put. I don't know. I thought that was a, a good idea. Somebody left that. So um, Abasi, Mister Abasi, you have the Luis Robert. Congratulations. Next up, we have the Jack Morris rookie card. Pick this up. It has an eight dollar tag on. It. I think I got it for like half off. Might have been four. Might have been two. I can't remember. I picked it up at Triple Play Vintage a while ago. Nice nineteen seventy eight tops card. Jack Morris is a Hall of Famer. And uh, Lael, I think if I say your name wrong, I apologize. I'm not very good with. Um, pronouncing names all the time and you did win got the a's i know a mess of things probably appreciates that and you have just won the jack morris rookie card congratulations lail jack morris next up let's do this is a really nice one i like this card a lot it's a juan soto i can't remember exactly where i got it it might have been out of a big bat box from a few months ago uh, definitely one of those subscription boxes i think uh, it's a game-used Juan Soto jersey from, oh, I don't know, maybe last year. Let's see who's getting the Juan Soto jersey right now. It's going to Daniel Pratt, if he's publicly subscribed. Let's search up his name, and he's not. Unfortunately, you can see right there. Now, you might wonder, how do you know so quickly? If they have a little circular icon next to their name, like it'll tell you that they've they're publicly subscribed, and also how long it's been since they've hit that subscribe button. Like, Zach has been subscribed for two months. Let's pull another one for the Juan Soto bat or jersey. It's going to be Rafael Nunez, Yanks versus Nats. That would be an interesting World Series. Let's check them out. Rafael, are you publicly subscribed? Yes, you are. You've been subscribed for a whole year. Thanks. Long-time subscriber. Really appreciate that. And you now have a Juan Soto relic coming your way let's see who's next all right let's how about a uh let's do a kyle lewis rookie card this is an opening day 2021 cameron says can you tell me all the steps to get publicly subscribed i'll go through it really quick for you again you have to go to your youtube page your main youtube page in the upper corner m caudio 15 is now one let's see if they are publicly subscribed after you go to the YouTube page, there's a little icon. You click on that. You have won it, MCaudio. It'll bring up a drop-down menu. You click on Settings. Then you click on Privacy. And then you toggle your um, subscriptions to public so that everyone can see them. Basically, um, if you do that, then I can see that you are indeed publicly subscribed. Big Ray's Ball Cards and Auction says, Thank you, Eric, for the email reply for my unopened box of 2021 appreciate you can't wait to get it hope it helped during the bad weather delay big raise ball cards thank you very much i really appreciate that for the super chat i hope you guys will check him out 
and um, give him some support. Now, we did send out some. I'm not sure if you're asking me to email or email you back. I do have three left on open ones. I don't know if one of these is you, Mark, David, and Joseph. I've got three folks left to go to send the unopened ones. Was that one of you, Big Ray? I can't I get so many emails a day. I can't even um, – don't want to lie. Mark. So you're Mark. Okay, we've got you right there, man. And um, yeah, I will get it out to you hopefully early this week. There's a Dylan Cease rookie card coming up next. Let's see who's got it. It is going to um, Andrew Poopy Pants. <laughs> what? All right. So an interesting name there. Um, I, don't, I don't think anyone else has that last name. So we'll go ahead and search that up. And uh, of course, they're not publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and pick another one. I see a couple super chats popping up. And uh, Alpha Female says, can you say hello to my kiddo, Lil Nate Pullen? He's a big fan. Nate, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that. And Steven says, my son and I just finished the set, pulled a, a bomb on card auto. How about that? And a Bart 86 refractor out of a 99 auto. So, Steven, those are some big pools right there. It's got to be great doing that with your son for sure. That's awesome. You're both into the hobby and building sets together. Thank you, Steven. And thank you, Nate, for being a fan and alpha female. Really appreciate the support. Let's check out Douglas. Douglas Schick. Let me see that. Schick. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm, not, I'm just not going to even attempt it. We'll just see if it's a, a subscriber. It is not. So let's go ahead and pick another one. We've got Ethan Gentil. Let's see if you're publicly subscribed. And you're not. So we're 0 for 3 on the Dylan Cease rookie card. Let's pull another one. Raphael Sosa might be. It's an easy name to remember. They are publicly subscribed. you got a Dylan Cease rookie card coming your way. Let's go ahead and put your name on there. See, a super chat from a mess of things says, the toggle switch is labeled, keep all my subscriptions private. If you want it, turn it off. You'll, and you'll want to turn it off. So there we go. A mess of things with some more information. For those of you a little bit confused, to be publicly subscribed, you go to the YouTube main page. You go to your avatar, that little circle in the upper right-hand corner. And you click um, settings, then privacy. And then a mess of things has it for you right there. Keep all my subscriptions private, and you want to turn that off so it's not showing. And Bernard Jarvis with a dollar super chat. Bernard, thank you very much. I really appreciate both of you guys. A mess of things and Bernard. And now we have a Harmon Killer. Oh, look at this. Chris V says, hi, Eric and everyone. I'll be emailing you the details on the catching trout packs in a day or two. So excited for MBM. It's going to be huge. That's the owner of the Fishing for Trout mystery packs that I alluded to earlier. Uh, I bought all 100 of them, and um, you think we'll be able to do that? I know we can't do it this week, but do you think that'll be ready to go next week? I just want to know when I should start letting people buy into that. But um, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm looking forward to opening that. Cannot wait. So Ethan Davis has a 1970 Harmon Killebrew. Let's see if he's publicly subscribed. Um, he is. I'm really glad you are because I jumped the gun and started writing your name on the card already. Not on the card, but on the sleeve. Congratulations on the Harmon Killebrew 1970 tops. Next up, let's go ahead. This is a cool card. Haven't seen it too often. Every time, you know, every now and then I would see it. I would think, wow, that's really a nice card right there. It's a Derek Jeter 1993 classic card. As you know, that's his rookie year. And this one's going to go to Sean Clark. Let's see if Sean Clark is publicly subscribed. Sean Clark um, is publicly subscribed. He's got the Yankees taking it in seven over the Padres. Congratulations. You have the Derek Jeter. Get your name on there, Sean Clark. Next up, Carl Yastrzemski, 1980 Tops. Love this set. Did you know that a box of 1980 Tops is like $15,000 now? Like, what an idiot I was. I had, all these, I had like three boxes of those, and I opened them all up. Um, I should have saved those. Of course, I wouldn't have known that they were going to go up that high. Just crazy how the vintage wax has been just blowing through the roof here. Crazy Cat is our next contestant, and they are publicly subscribed. Congratulations. You didn't get the Ted Williams, but you did get a Carlos Stremski 1980 tops. Crazy cat. Yeah, what did the Ricky Henderson PSA 9 or 10 recently sell for? Just some ridiculous amount of money. 
I don't even remember, but I just remember it was through the roof. Next up, we have an Aroldis Chapman rookie card from 2000, and I think that's 2011 Topps Lineage. Aroldis Chapman rookie card. This one is going to David Thompson. Let's check out David Thompson. I see a Super Chat just popped up. We'll check it out in a second here. It's coming from OMG. Uh, says, oh, Omgi Mechanoid. I'm, I apologize if I said it wrong. wrong. White Sox over the Dodgers in seven. Love the videos. Keep up the great work. Been watching for over a year. So Omni, Omji Mechanoid, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And um, I'm very happy to have you as a subscriber. Thank you for watching. Looks like David, though, is not publicly subscribed, so we have to pull another one. How about spring training getting underway today? Steve March. Let's check him out. He's bought into a couple of our breaks recently, so hopefully he's hit that subscribe button. Yes, he has. Congratulations. You've got the Aroldis Chapman rookie card. Get your name on it. Alpha female says, I really want to change my name to Poopy Pants now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Might be seeing a couple a couple copycats. How about a George Brett 1980 Tops card? George Brett. Got a couple of those 80 Tops cards in this giveaway. I always like those vintage cards. Easy E. Let's check them out and see if they are publicly subscribed. Yes, they are. You've got the George Brett 1980 Tops coming your way. Congratulations. Easy E. What have we got next? A Reggie Jackson. Uh, Chris says, I should be able to ship by Wednesday or Thursday. I'll express ship them so they'll be ready for the 8th. All right, you've heard it, guys. So on Patreon, we're going to do the Fishing for Trout. I'll put them on sale very soon. Maybe tomorrow. Reggie Jackson's the next card. There's 100 total packs. One of those packs has a uh, BGS 2011 Mike Trout in there. There's a Nathan Bodine. All the packs have been individually numbered. So the way we'll do it to make sure there's no, you know, funny business or anything like that, and you're like, you weren't not going to say, oh, you knew where the trout was and you gave it to your best buddy or whatever. We're going to, the packs will be individually numbered, and we're going to randomize all the spots at the beginning of the live stream. So whatever the number is, I don't know where, I don't know what number that the trout is, um, but Nathan has been deemed the winner here by the picker. Congratulations on the 82. So we'll do a live or a, a live randomization of that before the uh, before we start opening all those up. Ben Schwartz with a 4.99 super chat. Thank you very much, Ben. I really appreciate that. And Chris, thank you very much as well. By the way, Chris was the one that sent over that Cooperstown bound um, mystery box, which was just amazing. Mister Awesome is our next winner. Congratulations. All one word there. I have to make sure I spelled exactly like you have it on, or it won't come up. Congratulations. You have won the 1975 tops, Bob Gibson, Mr. Awesome. I vaguely remember your real name. I think it is Josh, I want to say. Ben, did I miss your super chat? I really apologize. I'm trying to keep up. Thank you very much for the support. Um, Hunter says, do you have a Facebook message? I do have Facebook. I just recently got back on after like a 12 or 13 year hiatus. Um, but I, I really don't message people unless I know who they are. Like if, um, if you're a, like, if you've been buying into some breaks and I recognize the name, then I'll definitely hit you back on it. It was a Rod Carew, 1970 tops card. Very nice one right there. So let's check that one out. Rod Carew, 70 tops. Um, I forgot to reply to Nathan Bodine, did I? Okay, thank you very much for bringing that up. I'll do that right after this. All right, so Bray J. Briggs. Bray J., let's see if uh, you're publicly subscribed. This is for the Rod Carew. You are publicly subscribed. Congratulations. And somebody pointed out that I missed Mr. Nathan Bodine. So let's go ahead and take care of him as well. Thank you for spotting that. I'm sure Nathan very much appreciates that. Ike's Art Studio says, I made it through the Texas freeze, y'all. It tried to snuff the Ikester, but no dice. Hit the like button, people. Ike, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'm glad that uh, you're doing well down there in Texas. That's crazy how just, you know, that ice storm just knocked all the power out in the entire state. There's a Reggie Jackson 1983 tops. Glad that, <laughs> glad. hopefully it's warming up down there. 
It's been pretty nice up here recently. We hit a high of like 50 degrees today. Ducky duck. It rained all day, but it was in the low 50s. Ducky duck. Let's see if Mr. Ducky is publicly subscribed. And they are not. Let's go ahead and do another one for the 83. It's Gregory McKay. Let's check that one out. Big Ray says, give Heather a hand. She does an awesome job. Big Ray, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Yes, she does do an awesome job for sure. Let's see. Who am I looking for? Gregory McKay. Heather and I ate at a Ruby Tuesdays today, like out in Somerset, Pennsylvania, on our little jaunt out to... Where do we go? We covered a lot of ground today. We started in North for sales. We went the whole way from Rossi's Flea Market all the way out to Hokey G's and uh, stopped at a bunch of places in between. So, Gregory, congratulations. How about an 82 George Brett? 1982 Tops George Brett. I love the older cards. It's a beef. Beef. Beef, beef. Let's check it out. Beef, beef. I saw a super chat <laughs> go by from a mess of things. It says, Kazoo Fanfare for Heather and Dan Sports Card says, What's up, Jabs? Good luck, everybody. Dan's, I really appreciate that. And uh, mess of things as well. Thank you very much, guys, for your support. So I see Chief Beef is not subscribed, but Beef Beef is indeed. So congratulations. Another interesting name there. Thank you very much for being publicly subscribed. You got the George Brett. Next up, let's go. How about we do a more recent one? This one is a Jordan Alvarez. Hey, there's Marcus Fossil says, Eric, wow, man, 85K. Have you shipped out the 21 Series 1 Jumbo Break? from a few weeks ago. Also, the new hot packs now in stock. Good luck, guys. Marcus, thank you very much. Just saw your stuff on the shelf. It's still down there, Marcus. I was putting a couple of the uh, break C that I finally just got sorted out. I, I don't know if I should say finally. The break was just this past week, but it takes a long time to sort uh, team breaks, but I was putting those down on the shelf, and your stuff is still there. The th people that are on the $3 tier, um, usually that gets sent after the uh, first of the month, so uh, should be going out this week. Uh, Retro Jared has the Braves. Let's check out Retro Jared and see if he's publicly subscribed. Retro Jared is not. Let's go ahead and pull another one for the Jordan Alvarez rookie card. How about a Nathan Siwak? Hopefully I said that right. S-I-W-A-K. Nathan is publicly subscribed. Congratulations. We've got the Blue Jays winning the World Series. Wouldn't that be awesome? See all those young players in there. And uh, OMG uh, Mechanoid says, do you have an eBay account where you sell cards? I do not use eBay. I only use, well, I use eBay to buy cards. I use it to buy my wax box and stuff like that, the older wax that I use for some of my Patreon tiers. But I don't sell cards on there. I only sell on my Patreon page. Uh, that way I don't have to pay them 10% or whatever it is now, 12% fees. So thank you very much. And I do not also sell individual cards because I just do not have time to, you know, package those up with in addition to all the other stuff that i'm doing and dave penn and i miss chicago infinity sorry about that i see dave penn's just popped up chicago says will there be an 82 don russ wathen giveaway there's no 82 don russ wathens tonight chicago thank you very much but um i still have some 81 don russ john wathens i could probably actually i don't know if i threw all those out or not but i ended up taking back half the box i offered refunds to the people in that break and two people said you know what now nah, i knew what i was getting into um, you can just, um, you can just send me the cards and two people wanted a refund. So I got stuck with half the cards and I have a, like a bunch of Wathens from that. Next up is going to be a Vladimir Guerrero senior hall of fame bat relic right there. And Dave Penn says, congrats on 85 K. I'm stoked for the giveaways. You're going to love the pen pack. Some cool stuff for your PC or from the PC. Can't wait to hit 90 K. Let's do it. Dave Penn. Thank you very much for the super chat. By the way, I have not yet opened that. This is going to be, we're going to be giving away the contents of this to viewers in this live stream um, in a little bit. So I'm really interested to see what we've got in there. And Ephus says, congrats on 85K, trying to get 50 subscribers. Thank you for all the inspiration. Ephus, thank you very much. Dave, thank you very much. We've got over 1,000 people in here. If you guys could please help Ephus out, get to 50. And Steve with some money signs in the eyes. Steve, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And 357 says, Eric, 78 Murray, 21 Baum, 20 Alvarez, 18 Devers, 17. All rookie cards with the gold cup. Did we miss any others? Huh. That's rookie cards that have the gold cup on it. You, I, you, you might have it covered there. Um, 
There's probably a couple other ones. I, I, I don't know. That's a good list to have, though. An Epiphany Card Collector says, congrats on 85K Epiphany Card Collector. Thank you very much. I really appreciate all the support, guys. Now let's pull a winner for the um, Vladdy Bat Relic. And Lindsay said, finally upgraded to $300 tier. Lindsay, thank you very much. I'll be sending you a message soon with uh, instructions on how to claim your discount on all breaks and uh, asking you what hobby box you'd like sent this month. We can do 2021 Tops hobby. We can do two hobbies of signature series from archives. And uh, I'll, I'll tell you all the other stuff you get in there as well. Thank you very much, Lindsay, and hope to see you in a lot of breaks in the upcoming future. Thank you very, very much for the support. Oh, man. All right. Where are we at? So, Vladimir Guerrero, Bat Relic, John Kudla. Let's check him out. John Kudla. Yeah, Heather is, um, <laughs> Braden says Heather needs a raise. All right. Let's see here. We have a winner here. It's going to be John Kudla. Congratulations. We'll get your name on the card. John Kudla. You've got the Bat Relic. How about we do another relic? This is another Hall of Famer right here. This is a Adrian Beltre. Game used jersey. Let's see who's getting the Beltray game used. It's out of 50, by the way. It's going to be Danny Sine. Sine, let's see if you are publicly subscribed. And um, nope, they are not publicly subscribed. Let's pull another one. How about Hayden Taylor? Let's check out Hayden Taylor. The good news is with the non-publicly subscribed, we're probably going to end up pulling like, um, I don't know, 300 names tonight. So Hayden is not publicly subscribed. Maybe not that many. Maybe close to 200. Matthew Mellinger. Let's check them out. Photography. Mellinger is probably the most unique name. And they are not publicly subscribed. So we'll go again. Fourth try for this one. Matt Dillon's got the Dodgers versus Yankees. Let's check out Matt Dillon. And Matt Dillon is... I see Mike Dillon. Let me double-check that. Nope. Mike Dillon, possibly your brother, but Matt, you are not publicly subscribed. So we're up to five people now for this Adrian Beltre relic. William B., let's check them out and see if they are publicly subscribed. William Space B. And, uh, yeah, they are in there. Congratulations, William B. You've got it. You've got the Adrian Beltre game-used... Jersey Relic, a very nice card right there. Where do we go next? How about we do a newer one? A Beau Bichette. This is his 2020 Tops rookie card from Series 1. Beau Bichette, so if you don't have that one yet, probably a lot of you do, but it's a good one you might want to just hold on to. Let's check this one out and see if they are publicly subscribed. They are not. Let's go ahead and pull another one. How about Josh Miller? To see if you're publicly subscribed, you have to go to your, your YouTube page on a um, browser. Click on the upper right-hand corner. By the way, Josh is publicly subscribed. Congratulations. Is that the right, Miller? Yes, it is. Got the Boba Shet. Click on that little icon. Go to, it's going to bring up a drop-down box. Click on settings, then click on privacy, then toggle your subscriptions to off so that we can see them. All right, 357 says Eric Dillon, Carlson, Luis Patino, and Larry Tavares, top three rookies in 2021. I've got, out of that list, I would put Dylan Carlson first of those three. Uh, I don't know. I feel like for me, I don't know if I, it's so tough to pick. There's a lot of guys that are really close. Uh, a lot of guys will say, like Jason saying, uh, Bobby Dalbuck should be in there. There's an Aaron Judge rookie card. I think. If you go on value right now, is it Alec Baum? I feel like Baum might be number one right now in terms of value. He's getting a lot of uh, a lot of uh, bang for his buck on a lot of his parallels. There's an Aaron Judge rookie card. Let's check out the Aaron Judge 2017 Tops Holiday. John Helton is he publicly subscribed? He is not. No for John Helton. Let's pull another one for the Aaron Judge. Drew Renault. Let's check them out. Renault, nice French name there. Remember Mike Devereaux? For the longest time, my brother and I used to say Mike Deverex because we weren't familiar with French. Uh, Bufus says, Jabs, there is something for Heather too. Bufus, thank you. For, I'm really interested to check that out. We'll have to do that um, for Mystery Box Monday tomorrow. Thank you very much. Search for Renault. Let's see what we've got. Drew Renault is not publicly subscribed, as you see there on the screen. We've got to pull another one for the Aaron Judge rookie card. 
How about Steve Emery? Steve Emery. See if they're publicly subscribed. Steve Emery is. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You like the auctions of the flea market. How about we went to both of those today? We went to an auction and a flea market today, Heather and I. So um, if you like those videos, I'm thinking that I'll be able to put it all together and edit it for maybe Tuesday. So, Steve, thank you very much. Next up, for those of you that like Astros or just 2019 Series 1, we've got a, I guess this is actually an opening day one, just a Kyle Tucker rookie card from opening day from 2019. His stock has been going up as people realize he could be the real deal, and Scotty Bones with three Zs is the winner. Let's check him out, see if I can remember how to spell that one. Mm, he's not publicly subscribed. Let's do another one. And uh, it's going to be KP Malone. Let's see if KP Malone is publicly subscribed. And uh, they are not, unfortunately. We've got to pull another one for a Kyle Tucker rookie card. Christian Jones. Christian. Let's check him out. Christian. And um, Christian Jones. I don't see in the top three. Let's scroll down. Oh, there they are. They are not publicly subscribed either. That's uh, we're like over the last three or four. Sean G, let's check you out. Kind of a common name. How about spring training getting started today? Anyone watch any spring training games? I watched some of the highlights of the Pirates game. There wasn't really much. I guess I should say I looked at the box score. Sean G, not publicly subscribed. I see saw that Todd Frazier and Polanco hit dingers. Justin Garten, Pirates actually won a game today. Of course, they beat the Orioles, but still nice to get a W, even though it doesn't count for anything. All right, we finally got one here. Justin Garten, congratulations. You've got the Kyle Tucker rookie card. Get your name on the screen. I see a mess of things. It says, for all the people asking why they don't win something, it's exactly like opening a single pack of cards and not getting an auto. It's all about the odds. That's a, that's a, uh, that's a good analogy there, yeah? It's exactly like that. I would love to give everyone um, a card or, or so, but um, it's just not feasible. We'll do our best to give you more shots. Here's a Derek Jeter top prospect card from Upper Deck. I think that's from 94 Upper Deck. Let's go ahead and pull a winner for that. We'll do this again at 90K. It's a Theodore. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce the last name, so I don't want to mess it up. So let's just check out Theodore and see if they are publicly subscribed. Theodore is publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and send you your information there for the Derek Jeter top prospect card. Theodore... I'll get your last name on there, too. All right, next up. This guy, kind of an under-the-radar type guy. It's his um, Bowman Chrome rookie. Aaron Savali had a nice season last year. Who knows? Could be the next Shane Bieber. I'm, whenever I see his cards for cheap, I'll pick them up. So that for the Savali, let's see if Jimbo is going to be publicly subscribed. And um, if he is, he gets it. He is not. Let's go ahead and pull another one. Aaron Savali. It's the... Pac-Man. Let's see if the Pac-Man is publicly subscribed. I used to play that game as a kid on Atari. My uncle had Atari, and I used to think it was the coolest thing. So the Pac-Man, congratulations. You have won the Aaron Savali. Get your name on there. How about next up we go with a game-used Juan Gonzalez jersey relic. Let's check him out. Juan Gon. It's a nice card. Dylan Gillespie. Let's check and see if they have one. Gillespie. Dylan is publicly subscribed, so you've got a Juan gone coming your way. Congratulations, Dylan. Get your name on there. By the way, that one's numbered as well out of 175, it looks like. Is there any Miggies, Miguel Cabreras? There might be. I'm, I can't remember if there is or not. Um, we'll just have to stay tuned. Also, we have a mystery pack that we haven't opened up yet. It's going to be for you guys. How about a Buster Posey rookie card? 2010 tops. Buster Posey. Some people think that he's going to be a Hall of Famer someday. Let's see if the kid, Bay Area, so that's pretty appropriate. So he wants the Bay Area World Series. And um, wouldn't that be appropriate if you end up winning this one? Let's scroll down and find that comment. He is publicly subscribed. There's the comment. You've got a Buster Posey rookie card. Very nice one for the kid. Hopefully you need, need that one. That go nice in your collection if you're a an actual real Bay Area fan. How about a Keston Hero rookie card next from 
Heritage from 2019, 1970 Tops design. Ulysses Rios. Ulysses got the Padres and the White Sox. Let's check you out. Heath says, congrats on 85, K. Thank you very much, Heath. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much for being here. Ulysses. Did I spell that right? I think that I did. Ulysses Rios. Let's match him up. Yep. Congratulations. You've got a Keston Hira rookie card from Heritage. Ulysses. Rios. Got your name on there. Thank you, Greg. Thank you very much for the uh, comment. And Guitars of Cards says, um, Jabs, dude, I have four 2021 blaster box I need to send to you. What's the address again? Maybe they will help you get the 52 top set. You rock, bro. Guitars of Cards, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, the address is P.O. Box 402 Pleasant Unity, PA. 15676. That's very, very generous of you. Thank you so much for that. I'm putting that set together. So both of those sets, the base set and the 52 set. I really appreciate the super chat. And thanks for the support, man. Here's a Randy Rose Arena. This is out of 50. It's his game used jersey. And I'm assuming it's back from the Cardinals days because it's got the Cardinal red in it. So nice one right, right there. A Randy rookie card relic. And it's going to David... I don't know how to say the last name, so I'm not going to try. Let's just go ahead and type it in and see if you're publicly subscribed. And you are. Congratulations. You like the Padres and Rays. And guess what? Now you got a Randy, a Rosarena rookie relic coming your way. Thank you, David, for watching and participating in our giveaway. Randy's in the books. What do we got next? Some people like this guy. It's a Derek Cheetah rookie card. This is a pretty nice card. The box of 1993 Tops have just been going through the roof recently. Uh, they were $150 a box like a month ago, and I feel like they're about $300 to $350 now, at least some of the ones I've seen popping up recently on there. And it's all because of this card right here, the Derek Jeter. I don't know if his rookie card... I assume his rookie cards are, are going crazy because the 93 SP box went from $5,000 a box in January to like $18,000 a box in February. Derek Jeter rookie card. Cloud says I missed a super chat. I am sorry about that. If I did miss a super chat, it's from... Darren says, love the videos, Jabs. Everyone, check out Clad's Cards for a chance to win a Prism Blaster. Darren, thank you very much. So if you'd like to win a Prism Blaster, get on over to Clad's Cards. Really appreciate the support, man. And now let's see if the Derek Jeter is going to find himself a home. Maybe Braden will take it. Let's check out the last name and see if we can find Braden Butler. Braden Butler is publicly subscribed. Congratulations, you got it. Go ahead and drop your information there. A Derek Jeter rookie card. There's another Derek Jeter rookie card in here, so don't worry. If you really wanted that one, there's the upper deck one coming up as well. Braden Butler. I picked up about 100. Someone just said I just saw the chats going by pretty quickly, but I saw somebody say the cards are going crazy. I was able to pick up some uh, decent cards today. We'll have to show you what they are. for Some of them for pretty cheap. Some nice Hall of Famers from the 70s for 50 cents a piece. Alan Trammell. 81. Big Rays, ball cards, and auction says, how much will the Trout Chase Packs be? I haven't um, put my finger on it just yet, but it's probably going to be, when I factor in um, the shipping and stuff, probably around 69 to 74, somewhere in there. Um, I might I might want to... I'll probably talk to Chris and see how much he thinks each package is going to weigh to try to get a, a true weight value on that, and I'll let you know, but somewhere around there, roughly around 70. So Todd... Merrifield or Merrifield, you have the Alan Trammell. Let's see if um, you are going to. Uh, did I spell it wrong? Yeah, it's all one word. So Todd Merrifield, let's try that. Todd Merrifield. Yep, you are publicly subscribed and um, you got the Phillies over the Yankees, and someone said, Yeah, I wish. Well, we'll see. You never know. So, Todd, congratulations. Todd Merrifield has the Alan Trammell 1981 Tops card. Let's do another rookie. Sebastian says, thanks for this event. Thank you very much for being here. We've got a Mad Bum. Mad Bum, Madison Bumgarner. Paul says, my wife can't stop watching this. Shout out to Mrs. Jacobson. Thank you very much for being interested. We've got Maker Sports Cards. Maker Sports Cards. Let's see if they're publicly subscribed. Maker should be sufficient to bring them up. And yes, it, uh, but unfortunately, they're not publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and pull another. Um, bus 2314 for the Bad Bum Rookie card. Bus 2314. Are they publicly subscribed? Yes, they are. You've got a Mad Bum 
Rookie card coming your way, bus. Get your name on there, bus 2314. 357 says, what's worse, the 1 and 4 Braves or the 0 and 4 Buffalo Bills of the 90s? That's Oh, man, I, I, I don't know. Are the Braves 1 and 4 already in spring training play? Is that what you're alluding to? I didn't realize they played that many games. I know the Pirates just played their first official game today against the uh, the Orioles in 1-0. One, one um. And then I see Dave Pence said he's having some trouble with the giveaway or the super chat. He said he can't get a super chat to work. And Dave says for the 85K giveaway tonight only, anyone who signs up for his new monthly subscription will get 15% off. Dave, thank you very much for that offer. Um, if you'd like to check out the pen pack or the pen box, we did a pen box yesterday on the channel. You can check it out. And uh, he's given 15% off tonight for anyone who signs up today. Thank you very much, Dave. Roman Quinn, on card auto. Speedy guy right there. 2017 Tops Chrome. Let's check that one out. Roman Quinn for you Phillies fans. It's Patrick Mayes. I hope I said that right. Let's see if you're publicly subscribed. And you are. Once the World Series for the Angels. That would be nice. I'd love to see Mike Trout in the World Series. So, Patrick... Thank you very much. Got your name on there. All right, let's do an old vintage card. This is a Frank Robinson, Harmon Killebrew, and Boog Powell. Nice card right there. For 1967 tops. We'll go ahead and pull winner for this 67 tops Hall of Fame card, Bill Arath. Two Hall of Famers on there. Boog Powell's not a Hall of Famer, but, um, you know, he's, he's got a space in the hearts of many Orioles fans. So, Bill, you're not publicly subscribed. We've got to do another. Let's see who we've got coming up next. It's going to be Stephanie Robson. Got the White Sox versus Padres. Hey, that's the same thing I've said. I'd love to see the White Sox and Padres. That would do wonders for the market for Tatis and Luis Robert. And she is publicly subscribed. So, guess what? You have the 67 Frank Robinson and Harmon Killebrew, Stephanie Robson. Let's go ahead and send that. All right, next card. How about another Gavin Lux? We started with a Gavin Lux auto. Here's a Gavin Lux 2020 Bowman rookie card. This one is going to It's Me, Beansy. <laughs> Just saying Jeffs is the man. All right, let's check out Beansy. It's Me, Beansy is publicly subscribed. Hey, I will take it. Congratulations on the Gavin Lux. It's Me, Beansy. Next, let's go to a 1978 Tops card. This is going to be a Robin Yount, 78 Tops. Let's see who's getting this bad boy. Hall of Famer Robin Yount. And uh, it's going to Jeremy, oh, the the Jeremy Peacock, who would have won the one of one, but um, I guess had two accounts. And he's still not publicly subscribed. So, oh, man, Jeremy, you haven't learned your lesson yet. Let's go ahead and pull another one. Uh, let's see. We've got a Rich Hartman is our next contestant. And uh, Rich is publicly subscribed. So, Rich, congratulations. You have the 78 Robin Yount, Rich Hartman. All right, next up, let's go ahead and do... Um, how about a Steven Strasburg rookie card? This is a Steven Strasburg rookie card from 2010. Bowman Chrome. Nice one right there. So let's check out Straws' is winner. Michael Hafey. Let's check it out. I know he's bought into some breaks recently. Let's see if he's publicly subscribed, though. Michael Hafey is publicly subscribed. Congratulations. You have a Steven Strasburg rookie card coming your way. Go ahead and put your name on that one. What else do we have coming up? For those of you wondering how many cards that are left, I would guess around 20 left, and then we have some more coming up. There's a Bartolo Colon on card auto from 1997 Best. So a really cool card right there. The one of one, um, I have not given that away yet. I'll probably give that one away in the, for the last card. Bryce Kowal. Bryce, let's see if you are going to get the Bartolo. And um, no, Bartolo is going to go to somebody else. Price is not publicly subscribed. Let's pull another. How about Pops and Games? Pops and Games. Let's see if you are publicly subscribed. Pops should be sufficient. 
Uh, maybe not. A lot of people saying, all right, there he is. He is publicly subscribed. Congratulations. You have the Bartolo Cologne autograph. Pops and games. 357 says, last 4-0 sweep of the World Series. The last 4-0 sweep of the World Series. That happened, I know that happened in what, 2012? The Giants swept the uh, Tigers 4-0, right? Was there one after that? Um, that's just popping in my head real easily because I was at that game. Next up, Gaming with Logan says, Jabs, I'll let you reveal my mystery pack for $10, which is a $10 discount. Um, if, if we're just going to do one, you can just send me one for free, and I'll do it on the channel for free of charge. Um, Dave Penn says, Tonight only anyone who signs up for the Pen Box Monthly gets 15% off the first box. Dave, thank you very much. Again, that's that offer he's run. There's a Jeter Downs on Card Auto. So we did the pen box, the March edition yesterday. If you'd like to check out um, the packs and such, you get a pen pack inside with eight hobby packs. That video was featured yesterday on the channel. Dave, thank you very much. Robert Yeager. Oh, I did it again. I started writing your name down before checking if you're publicly subscribed. Oh, I hope you are. Um, now, you aren't publicly subscribed, but you are um, a member of the channel, which I said before, that's you've been a member for three months. That for me, I'm taking that um, as the same as being publicly subscribed. So, Robert, congratulations! You have the Jeter Downs autograph. Stemmer says, Jabs trivia: Who pushed out Ted Williams for the '99 All Star Game? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Who pushed out Ted Williams for the '99 All Star Game at Fenway Park? I I want to say Pedro Martinez. It's just the first, like, if, if you had to just say, pick right now, I'd say Pedro, but I, I don't know. Stemmers, who was it? Ted Williams pushed out by who? I've seen Gwyn and Pedro, it's popular answers, also Nomar Garcia Parra. I want to say Pedro and Stemmers. Now you have me really wondering if I'm right or not. Uh, a lot of people saying Tony Gwynn. Pedro was right there, but um, I don't know. Let's see if we can get the answer there. Lots of different answers popping up. Next one, it's a Mike Schmidt, Tony Perez. It was Tony Gwynn. Okay. I, I remember watching that, but I, I, I do not remember it so vividly that I can remember who pushed him out. That was quite a moment. All the players came out and uh, just surrounded Ted Williams, and they were just talking baseball there. It's in the middle of the field. Pretty awesome moment there. Jaden Bryant. Let's see if Jaden is publicly subscribed. That was back in, I think the year on that was, uh, was that 1999, I think? I think that was 99. Jaden's not publicly subscribed. Go ahead and do another one. And um, stealth underscore C, stealth underscore, let's see if you're publicly subscribed. And the answer is no. So we got to continue on with our next contestant, which is Quadman41. Quadman, I think Quadman said something about the Pirates of the World Series. Um, he did say it. He would love to see the Pirates versus the Indians. I would love that too. Um, that was a, a dream back in, uh, I don't know, like 2013, 14, 15, when the Pirates were making the playoffs. I really wanted them to play the Indians. I, I don't know if the Indians were in the playoffs then or not, but uh, I was just thinking, wow, that would have been nice because I, I could have gone to all seven games. Uh, back then I lived much closer to Pittsburgh, and Cleveland was just uh, about a little over a two-hour drive. Could have gone to all seven games. Anyway, 2016, I went to uh, three out of the four World Series games at Progressive Field against the Cubbies. Now, the seventh game, it just got too lucrative and too tempting to sell the tickets. The tickets were well over $1,000 a piece. So I sold my game seven tickets and didn't go. I kind of wish that I, that I would have. I would have seen the Cubs win the World Series. Next is a Tom Glavin. Let's see what we've got. It's a Xander Grice. Let's see if Xander Grice is publicly subscribed. A Tom Glavin rookie card from 1988 Tops. And um, a mess of things says, will you get to 100K before the World Series? We'll see. You never know. Um, just going to keep doing my things out, thing out here and making videos every day. And if we get there, we do. If we don't, we don't. Um, still have fun making the videos. So Xander is publicly subscribed. You got the Tom Glavin. Congratulations. And then we have a Manny Sanguin on card auto. Very, very nice one. 1971 Tops design. This is, I believe it's out of an archives product. It has the archives fan favorites stamped in that corner. Aiden B. 
Let's see if Aiden is publicly subscribe. Aiden is not publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and pull another one. Uh, Charlie D. Charlie D. Uh, he does. He's got the Jays and Potters. That would be an interesting World Series. I don't know how that would be for ratings, but um, I would definitely love to see Vladdy Jr. and Tatis in the World Series. You've got the Manny Sanguian coming your way as long as you follow the directions there and just send me an email with your address. Sometimes people will claim a card and then they won't even put their address in there. There's a, and other times people will like not put their full address. They'll be missing like the state or the zip code and have to do research. There's an, an Aloy Jimenez. This is his rookie card from 2019 Tops Fire. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of the way. Microsoft Auto Update. All right. So Aloy Jimenez, this one is going to be to Oki Keeling. All right. Has the Mariners as a sleeper pick. Wouldn't that be something? I think the Mariners are going to be good within a couple years for sure. All that young talent they have down there. So you've got it. It's the Aloy Jimenez Tops Fire rookie card coming your way. Next up, how about another another rookie? This one's Trent Grisham for you Padres fans out there. Had a nice 2020 open some eyes. It's going to Frank Hendrickson. Let's check out Frank Hendrickson and see if he's publicly subscribed. Frank Hendrickson is. Loves the Braves. And... Uh, Hopefully you love Trent Grissom as well because you have his Don Ross rookie card coming your way, Mr. Frank Hendrickson. All right, this uh, next one is pretty cool. It's the uh, Deco Edge Willie Mays. This is from 1969. No, somebody didn't just take those weird party scissors and cut this out. This, these were actually inserts in 1969 tops. It's the Willie Mays. Let's see who wins it. Some people were commenting they wanted this maze. And uh, this one's going to go to Jack Sasso, maybe, if he's publicly subscribed. Let's check out Jack Sasso. And how about that? He's not. That stinks. That's a good card, too. Willie Mays, 69, Deco Edge. That's a very nice page. People wanted that one. Cooper's Card Break. Let's check out Cooper's and see if he's publicly subscribed. Cooper's should be enough. 357 says, Eric, I think you're brave for offering... To skydive at 100k that's what i heard not from me 357 thank you very much i really appreciate that i don't think i would skydive no no way maybe a garage tour or something like that but um i don't know heather would you ever want to go skydiving i don't even think i want to do bungee jumping all right so cooper's car breaks congratulations Next up, we have Jeff McNeil coming up next. Rookie card. This is along with Drew Smith. Jeff McNeil's the big name on there. This is from 2019 Heritage. Heather says, phew, I was really worried that you were going to say you would. And Heather says, no with an exclamation point. I'm, I'm very glad that we're on the same page there. All right, let's see if, uh, what's the name? Tyler Greaves is publicly subscribed. You got the Jeff McNeil Heritage Rookie Card. Congratulations. Tyler Greaves. What else do I have? How about we go with the 1983 Tops Rod Carew CV. How's it going? Rod Carew, 1983 Tops. And um, how about Ethan Seals for this one? Ethan Seals. Let's check him out. And um, I do not see a little mark next to your name, Ethan, so sorry about that. It's at the top of my screen. I'll, I'll do it again just to double check because it's Ethan Seals. Maybe you have two accounts. Let's type the whole thing in. Ethan Seals, I don't know why you're not coming up, but um, that's. I'll try one more time. And then if not, I'm going to have to move to the next per person. Check out Ethan your comment is just not coming up anywhere, buddy. Got, I see Ethan's Elvis covers and more, but we're going to have to pull another winner just because we could not verify. All right, we've got a Joe. <laughs> I see a mess of things. It says, Eric, if you open a pack while you're plummeting towards Earth, you'd probably instantly jump to 200K. That would be that would be pretty interesting to even try to do that, opening a pack of cards while skydiving. Joe is not publicly subscribed, unfortunately, so we got to pull another one. Uh, 
Kenta. Let's see if they are publicly subscribed. Yeah, that would be interesting to open a pack while skydiving, but I think the cards just fly everywhere. Kenta is not publicly subscribed either. Let's pull another. How about Supreme Potato? Reminds me of uh, Potatoes in the News recently for they're dropping the name of Mr. Potato Head and just going to just Potato Head. So Supreme Potato is not publicly subscribed. Then we have Patrick. Uh, Patrick's bought into a couple of the breaks, had a really nice Spencer Torkelson thousand dollar card out of the jazz family box so he is subscribed glad to see it. you've got the rod crew 1983 tops all right so we got a winner for that one finally it took a little while patrick you're in there all right next up we've got how about uh, sapphire card this is a christian yelich for those of you that like sapphire that i got a pack of those i think in one of our mystery boxes and uh, that was the best card from the pack jeffrey richmond let's see if you are publicly subscribed, Jeffrey Richmond. Looks like you are. There you are. You got a Christian Yelich Sapphire card coming your way. Probably worth a few dollars, I'd imagine, being a Sapphire card and being Christian Yelich. Uh, the Mind of a Savage says, do you have to be on Patreon? Not for this. You just have to be subscribed on YouTube. If you'd like to buy into any of our breaks, you have to be a Patreon member. And Dana says, thank you, Jazz, for all you do for the baseball card community. Dana, thank you very much for the very generous super chat. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Kyle Lewis, rookie card coming up next. Rookie debut, I should say, from Tops Update. Hope you guys will please take a minute and check out Dana's channel. Grayson Tappy. Let's check out Grayson Tappy. Tappy should show up. Um, unfortunately, not publicly subscribed. We have to pull another Jonathan H. Good old Jonathan H. Let's see if he's publicly subscribed. Haven't heard from him in over a year. Hopefully he's doing well. Jonathan H. I have got some Bernard Gilkeys to send your way. I've got to get around to doing that at some point. Nope, not publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and pull another one. Matt Goldsworthy. Let's see if he's publicly subscribed. Goldsworthy. And uh, he's not either. Let's do another one. Kyle Lewis, Tom Warmstead. Let's see if I can remember that one off of one try. Warmstead. Ah, I spelled it wrong. Dang it. Sometimes I'm trying to, I'm typing without looking at my fingers. Uh, Tom is publicly subscribed. And if you'd love to comment about the 1991 fl Fleer box, <laughs> the worst baseball card set ever. Glad that you're going back and watching some of the older videos, Tom. Thank you very much. And congratulations on the Kyle Lewis rookie debut card. Tom Warmstead. You got that one. Next up, how about a Jim Rice 1976 tops with the gold cup? Not his rookie card. It's his second year card. His rookie card is 1975 tops. He's on there with a couple other guys. Ethan James. Let's see if he's publicly subscribed. Ethan James. Did, did I just... Evan James, what am I doing? Evan James, Evan James. Evan James, Mariners versus anyone. You are publicly subscribed. Congratulations. Evan, you've got it. Evan James. Got the gold cup. How about we do, this is a nice rookie card right here. It's a Mike Soroka. He had it. You know, a rough go last year, blown out his Achilles. And uh, now let's see who gets it. He's going to be back. We've got Hall Bags. Let's check him out. Hall Bags. The last one was blaming jabs for cards being sold out. Uh, I wish I had that much influence, but uh, I, I don't think so, buddy. Jim says, super chatting for a little good luck mojo. Best of luck to all. Jim, thank you very much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. And it looks like Hall Bags is publicly subscribed. You got Mike Soroka rookie card coming your way. Jim, really appreciate the support. And uh, I think, I'm pretty sure, I sent a lot of packages last week, but your stuff, I believe, was sent your your way on Friday, maybe, around there. Do you remember doing your stuff? So thank you very, very much. Here's another Kyle Lewis rookie card. It is a big league, a big league rookie card. For Kyle Lewis from 2020. This one is going to go to Phil Racuglia. So let's check out that last name. 
Recuglia and see if they're publicly subscribed, and they are not. So we've got to pull another one for the Kyle Lewis rookie card. How about a D. Burke cards? D. Burke? Uh, yeah, publicly subscribed. Congratulations. He was also going to say the Padres and White Sox also. Very nice. He got him in seven. I picked him in six. That was just... Um, now, if I was putting money on it, I probably wouldn't go that route. I don't know if I would pick, put the White Sox in there. I'm not sure if the White Sox have the starting rotation uh, right now, but I think they're they're getting pretty close to, to being a, being a, a team that everyone's going to be picking at the top of the American League. This next one's going to... Um, it's going to be a Beau Bichette rookie card from Bowman Chrome. And it is going to go to Ava Allen if she is publicly subscribed. Let's check out Ava. Ava Allen is not publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and choose another one. How about we go with Aviel? Aviel? Let's see if you're publicly subscribed. Aviel. Yes, said I would love to win a giveaway because I'm a small collector and I've been watching since you had 1,000 subscribers. Are you serious? You've been subscribed for 10 months, it says there, but uh, so glad that you were, came around to hitting that button. Avil, congratulations on the Beau Bichette rookie card. Got your name on there. Likely we'll have that in the mail on the Wednesday at the latest. How about a Bobby Bradley on-card auto rookie card from... The origin set. What was that in? Like Chronicles or something like that? Ian Harper is our next winner. Let's check him out. Ian Harper. You got it. You got the Bobby Bradley autograph. Congratulations. Dream Big. Hey, Dream Big is back. Hey, man. Haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing okay. Let's see what he says. He says, gas prices are extremely high. We have been overpaying on gas because we don't like to be around crowds at gas stations. We can't quit overpaying. I'll tell you what, Dream Big. Um, back a couple months ago, three, four months ago, gas around here was about two nineteen a gallon. Um, now it's three dollars a gallon. So I don't know what the deal is. Like at the height of the COVID era, there in the uh, the summer, we were paying around two dollars a gallon. And it's a dollar more now. I think some of that recently has been because of the Texas oil refineries having to shut down because of the storm. So hopefully it's going to drop again. I did notice because, uh, I don't know, who knows? There's a uh, nice hot box, Bryce Harper. I think that one I might have pulled out of a subscription box. Let's see who's getting the hot box. Grumpy Old Vet. Grumpy Old Vet. Let's see what we've got. Grumpy Old Vet. All one word. Uh, yeah, he is publicly subscribed. I got the Yankees and Padres rematch of the 1998 World Series. Once the Yankee, the Yankees started their dynasty. Grumpy old vet. Congratulations. You got the Bryce Harper hot box purple parallel. Next up, someone says the higher gas, gas prices because of the Keystone pipeline uh, was shut down. Yeah, a lot of people are not too happy about that here in Pennsylvania. With all the jobs being lost. There's a Goose Gossage. Nice one right there, 1980 tops, Goose Gossage. It's for MLB Buds. Congratulations, MLB Buds. MLB Buds. And um, you are publicly subscribed. Congratulations. You got a Goose Gossage, 1980 tops, MLB Buds. Next up, we have, this was cracked out of a signature series case it's a jorge alfaro out of 43 jorge alfaro let's see who gets that one that one was in a mystery box it's for g space k and i'll that i don't know if that's going to come up or not we'll see g space oh that definitely did the goose is loose well guess what you got a jorge alfaro glad that, that came up so congratulations g k on the jorge alfaro on card auto what do we got next? How about a Randy rookie card? Randy Rosarena. My brother was looking at Beckett and said, that, I forget what he said. This card's valued at like 12 bucks in Beckett. Um, supposedly the Donruss one. He was telling me the Donruss one's worth more than the Topps one. Nathan Rolston has this one. Let's check it out. Last name there, Nathan Rolston. Not Ralston. It wants to auto-correct that. Nathan Rolston, congratulations. You 
have won the Randy rookie card, Nathan Rolston. You got it. How about a Reggie Jackson, 1977 tops coming up next. Nice vintage Reggie. Have a few Reggie. Brandon. Just plain old Brandon. There might be a lot of Brandons on here. Let's see. Hopefully you're the top comment. Uh, let's see. Just Brandon. And let me go and revisit that a little. Dodgers versus Yankees 2021 is how the comment starts. Uh, let's see here. Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. There he is. He's not publicly subscribed. There's his exact comment. So let's pull another one. It's an Ashley Brogdon. Ashley, let's see if you are publicly subscribed. Brogdon is the last name. And, um, yeah, congratulations. You got the Reggie Jackson 1977 Tops card. We'll get your name on it. What happens if it's not claimed in, within 24 hours? Most of the time it is. I think that only happened like two times in the 80K giveaway or so. And um, if they don't claim it, then they don't get it. Uh, Raleigh Fingers, 1982 tops. Let's go ahead and see who gets this one. Brian ba Baskowski, I think. I probably said that wrong. I apologize. I'll try to spell it on the first try here. And uh, I did. I got it right. Padres versus Yankees. Pretty nice pick right there. A lot of people picking the Padres. Hopefully they're not a bust. You got the Raleigh Fingers 1982 Tops card right there. Raleigh Fingers scratching his head. Thinking about the uh, yak packs that he's putting together. All right, next up, we've got a Walker Bueller rookie card. Walker Bueller. Hey, I see Tron. It says, are the comments disabled? I can see you right now, Tron. Walker Bueller rookie card from 2018. Dale Fraser. Let's see if Dale is publicly subscribed. Dale is, um, yeah, indeed, he is publicly subscribed. Congratulations, you got a Walker Bueller rookie card from 2018. Bowman, Dale Frazier. All right, coming up next, we have a 1980 Tops card of Willie McCovey. Nice one right there. I picked up, I think I picked up his 73 Tops card today. I can't remember. I picked up some vintage stuff today out and about at a flea market. All right, it's Incredibro Nate. Incredibro. Let's see if I can remember how to spell that one. Incredibro. Kind of a cool name there. You are publicly subscribed. You got a Willie McCovey 1980 Tops card. Incredibro Nate. All right. So we have, um, I said we had 20 cards before, and um, I can kind of see where we're at right now. It looks like we're down to about 10 plus some. Bonus ones for just the people in the live stream. Brian says, Nervous Wander. He was 0 for 2 with a K. Brian, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, Wander Franco's a guy you want to keep your eye on. Pete Rose coming up next. 1982 tops. Wander Franco, of course, trying to make the team out of spring training. Probably is not going to make it. Terry Rathbun has this one. He's bought into a couple of breaks within the past two months. He might be subscribed. Yes, he is. You got a Pete Rose 82. Thank you very much. Get your name on there. All right, so how about a Jesus Lusardo rookie card coming up next? This is from 2020 Archives, 1974 Tops Design. Billy Ho is another one of our Patreon members. I hope he's subscribed. And uh, he's not publicly subscribed. Dang it. Let's pull another one. Chickens and HD says, not fair that I'm seeing people who posted about... Um, Biden's still commenting, but I'm still timed out. Chickens, I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Nicholas Lionheart is... Um, can't wait to see you get to 100K, Lionheart. I really appreciate your super chat there, but we try not to uh, talk politics in here at all. Uh, I know that... Uh, you know, I have... Honestly, uh, when I'm sleeping cards, um, usually I'm listening to very politically, very political um, shows that I really enjoy and I love politics and I could talk politics with you all day, but I always refrain from doing so because I figure whatever I say, I'm going to offend half the people. And I just try to, uh, you know, keep it, keep it to the cards. So here we go. There's a Juan Soto 2018 tops update rookie debut. So he's got a rookie card and tops update 
from 2018, which is really, really valuable. This is his second best one. Uh, Juan Soto. Let's see what we've got. Equine is the next one. Equine, congratulations. Oh, I wrote your name on the card. I didn't even check if you are publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and double check that. Equine is publicly subscribed. Let's go ahead and see who you've won. Or we know that you've won the Juan Soto, but let's go ahead and put your name on there. Officially, you've got it. So Cameron says, there was a super chat. Thank you very much. Brian says, just baseball politics. Brian, thank you very much. Yeah, I guess we could talk baseball politics. And 215 here says, hey, Eric, did I miss anything? Um, 215, I don't think that you've won anything yet. Um, but thank you very much for checking. We can double check and see if you have. I can 215. Um, by the way, you're not publicly subscribed yet. So if you did win, I wouldn't be able to give it to you. So you might want to get on that uh, in case you are going to try for one of these cards. We've got a grand total of nine cards left before we open the pen pack and the extra stuff. There's an Ozzy Smith 1981 record breaker card. Let's see who's getting this one. This one is going to Matthew's baseball card and coin collecting, possibly. I'm just, I don't know. Coin is probably the least common word there. There he is. Four days ago, he's not. Wait a minute, there's two of them. All right, we got to see which one it is. There's one that's publicly subscribed and there's one that's not. So which one did it come from? Love your channel, which that account is not publicly subscribed, so we can't give it to you, unfortunately. Let's do Randy Lemon and see if he is publicly subscribed. We'll do the last name Lemon. Randy Lemon is also not publicly subscribed. We got to go ahead and pull another one for the Aussie Smith, Austin Paul. Let's check out Austin and see if he's publicly subscribed. Austin Paul, where are you at? Let's scroll down a little bit and see if we can find him. I guess I should have typed the entire name. There he is. Austin Paul is not publicly subscribed, unfortunately. Let's pull another one. How about Joe Robertson? Said, you've re-sparked my love for cards. Joe Robertson. Go ahead and put your name on the board. Joe Robertson is not publicly subscribed either. Let's do another one for the Aussie Smith. Bob Patterson. I wonder if that's former Pirates reliever Bob Patterson. Wouldn't that be something... Bob Patterson used to come out of the bullpen for the early 90s buckos. So, Bob, you got that one. Congratulations. 215 says, I am sub to you. How do I publicly sub? 215, thank you very much. Well, if you go to your, your you got to go to a browser and bring up YouTube and Safari or Chrome or whatever. Here's a Christian Yelich. This is from Triple Threads out of 36. But you go to you go to Safari, go to YouTube, go to the upper right hand corner. There's a little avatar there, and you click on that. It'll bring up a drop down box. It has different things. You click on settings, and then you click on privacy, and uh, then you toggle the subscriptions to. You turn that off so that everyone can see it. Basically, that's how you do it. So Christian Yelich, eighty five. Jeff says that Yelich is nasty. Let's see who's gonna get it. Yeah, it's an awesome looking card. Adrenalized87 says, who do you foresee being the big rookies in Series 2? Great question there. It looks like it's going to be Key Brian Hayes and Jake Cronenworth are going to be the top two, and then we'll see if anyone else breaks in there. If any of these rookies out of spring training break camp with the club, like say Wander Franca makes the team on April 1st, then, um, and then he'll be in Series 2 as well, and any other players that uh, break camp. So Tyler Morrison... Let's see if uh, Tyler Morrison is publicly subscribed. Tyler Morrison is publicly subscribed. You've got a nice one. It's a Triple Threads Christian Yelich jersey bat relic. Congratulations on that. Get your name on there. So we're down to seven cards left. And then we also have some bonuses for you guys. Tony Perez is up next. This is a 1979 Topps card, Tony Perez. The 79 Perez. This one is going to Spencer. Let's see if Spencer is publicly subscribed. 1979 Tops. He is not. Got to pull another one. But thank you for the, the kind words. Legion Italia. Let's see if you're publicly subscribed. Legion Italia. You are not. Got to pull another one. How about we go with... 
Ben Carr. Ben Carr, C-A-R-R. Ben Carr is publicly subscribed. Says Cincy, baby. I think that's our first Cincinnati Reds pick. You never know what could happen. There's going to be a breakout team. It might be the Reds. Reds were good last year, for sure. And P. Wirt with a $2 super chat. Thank you very much, uh, Philip. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys will check out P. Wirt. <clears throat> I think I might have a couple cards on the shelf for you still. i got to get out your way. Uh, I'll just send those in the March Patreon stuff. I'm going to probably send the March Patreon stuff pretty soon. Um, maybe at the end of the first week in March. Mike Schmidt, Dave Kingman, Greg, Greg Lezinski. This is a 1976 Topps card. The 76 Schmidt early in his career. His rookie card is 73. Let's check out Drake and see if he's publicly subscribed. Drake, there he is. Congratulations. You've got the Schmidt coming your way. Go ahead and get your name on there. Blue, thank you very much for signing up. I really appreciate that. Thanks for the support. We're down to five cards left. Then we have some extra bonuses. This is a Spencer Torkelson. Let's see who gets the Torkelson. Only Torkelson of the night. Jay Bowen Sun says, making huge moves, Jabs. Congrats on the achievement. 100K on the way. Good luck, everyone. Thank you very much, Jay Bob. I really appreciate that. Hope you guys will check his channel out. Kelly Mc... Uh, McLeod? I think that's how it said. When I was a kid, I would see name that name, and I want to say McLeod, but I think it's McLeod. Let's check out Kelly. I hope I said that right. Sorry if I said it wrong, Kelly. Uh, and Kelly is publicly subscribed. Congratulations. You got a Spencer Torkelson coming your way. All right, so who's coming up next? We've got a Derek Jeter rookie card here. 1993 Upper Deck. Let's see who's getting the second Jeter rookie, Jake W., possibly. Jake W. And uh, Jake is publicly present. I'm with you. Padres and White Sox. All right. We'll see. Congratulations on the Derek Jeter. Wow. How about that, Jake? I just wrote Derek Jeter's name on your card. <laughs> Must be getting late. Jake W., congratulations. So if you get a, a card that starts to say Derek Jeter on it, uh, sorry about that. Your, the top letter is ruined. But Next up, we've got a Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn game-used relic right there from Don Russ. It's for the Americana Relic Series. Nice card for sure. Tomcat316. Let's check him out. Tomcat316. Is it two T's? Eh, it's two T's. Let's go ahead and try that again. Tomcat316. Tomcat316. A message thing says, Snag my Holy Grail Auto. Not who you'd expect. A message things. Thank you very much. We'll have to check that out. <coughs> Make sure you check out A Mess of Things channel and give him some support. Tomcat is publicly subscribed and also is a top commenter. It says, one, received one of the highest number of hearts from me. Thank you very much, Tomcat, for all the great comments you've left. And uh, you have now a Tony Gwynn to show for your efforts. All right, so we have a one of one. Um, a very nice one of one card, a cut auto of Harmon Killebrew. There's that one. And we also have the Ted William Williams game used bat. We'll save those for last. We're going to take a quick break now and we're going to give away some extra stuff to only the folks that are in the live stream right now so for you, those of you that are in here right now here's how you can get these let me go ahead and set it up first of all there's a pen pack that i have not yet opened i have no idea about what's in here um dave sent this along with the pen box and uh the most recent pen box we opened that pen box yesterday and he said this pen pack is for you to open once you get to 85k so we're going to open it live right now and i'll tell you exactly how you get these cards you can only win it if you're in the stream right now because i'm going to give you some specific instructions with a specific video to go to to win this prize all right let's see we'll have you go to uh let's do let's do our throwback thursday video heather if you're still with us can you drop the link to our Throwback Thursday video from like three days ago. It was 2013 Tops Archives. I'm going to tell you what to comment there. Now, there's already been comments on there. 
It doesn't have a ton of comments, so that's why I picked that one. There's only 113 comments on there, which is the least amount of comments that we've had in any of the videos from the past week. It also should be easy to find because you can just scroll back a little bit. So um, if you scroll back to the Throwback Thursday video, I'm going to give you a key term to leave in your comments. So whatever that key term is, it has to be in that comment because there's going to be comments that I'm pulling that uh, people already left those comments like three days ago. Heather, it's the 2013 Throwback Thursday video from a couple days ago. It's entitled Three Hits, Rare 2013 Tops Archives. That video. So just have that one ready, guys. So here's what you can win if you're here right now. I'm going to zoom out just a tad. These are the cards we're giving away to the people in the live stream now. It's a Carl Yastrzemski 1965 Tops. This is all out of the pen box from last night. Gavin Lux, Aristides Aquino, a Stevie Emanuels. This one was, and I just had this one. It's a David Bodie. So those five. And uh, also, additionally, we have this. I don't know what's in here. It's a sealed pen pack. It's an 85K special. Heather's got the link right there. Uh, you can only win by leaving a comment in that video. So let's see what we've got. Pen pack. We've got some bonus cards here for you. Let's see what we've got. All right, how about this? So we have a Luis Robert rookie card from Topps Chrome. That's an awesome, it's a rookie debut card. Uh, that is an amazing card right there. Check that one out. There's a Jordan Alvarez rookie debut card. There's a Ryan Mountcastle rookie, which is by, that's one of the top ones from 2021. An Alec Baum rookie card. We've got a Joey Barr rookie card from the 52. A Casey Mize rookie card and a Christian Pache. Some really good stuff right there. Um, man, some good stuff. Felipe's got stars in the eyes right there. And we also have, from the pen pack, we've got a Walker Bueller game-used jersey card. We've got a Logan Webb on-card auto, a Bill Mazeroski Sporting News all-star card, 59 all-star card, a really cool card right there, and a Victor Robles auto. So a very, very nice one right there. So that's going to be an additional, um, Cisco says, says video unavailable. Well, if, uh, if Heather, if the, I don't know if the link didn't work that Heather left you, just scroll down like three videos, go to my, um, go to my page, my, my main page and find throwback Thursday this week. It was 2013 tops archives. It's entitled three hits. Rare 2013 Tops Archives. Now, the reason I picked that one is because there was only 113 comments on that video. And uh, if you look at some of the other videos, they have way more comments. Like the Target video has like 400 uh, comments. And I just wanted to pick a video where there'd be more of a likelihood of picking uh, the comments with the magic word in there. So, all right. So we've got all these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven extra cards for you guys. Make that... 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 extra for you guys in here right now. So now I have to come up with a keyword. All right. So the keyword is going to be what I want to go with here, Heather. Hmm. I want to pick a word that probably no one has used in any of the other comments. Let's see here. I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Okay, we got it. Heather has it. The keyword here, supplied by Heather, and just leave this in the comment. Nothing but this. It's Taekwondo. Taekwondo, where Heather is there, you know, often during the week. So <laughs> very appropriate. So that's how you spell it. T-A-E-K-W-O-N-D-O. If you leave, leave the video Taekwondo, and by the way, Heather knows everything about taekwondo so <laughs> heather picked it guys so if you spell it wrong hopefully you don't we wrote it down for you there it is now for those of you uh, a lot of people leaving taekwondo right now in the chat you have to leave it on the video uh not in this live stream so the way this works is i'm going to be pulling the comments from the 2013 throwback thursday video okay we just hit 1,000 likes. So if you ever just dropped that 1,000th like, thank you very, very much for that. All right, so I'm going to start pulling now. I'm going to give you a couple more seconds. So again, not in the live chat where we're at right now. You have to leave it in the actual video. 
the two th it's my throwback Thursday this past week. You have to leave it on that video. So you should be seeing like me opening a box of 2013 Topps Archives on your screen. And then in that comment section, just say Taekwondo. Um, if you want to let the video play so you don't kill the analytics of the video by clicking off after two seconds, you could do that. If, if you don't want to, that's, that, that's up to you. But anyway, Taekwondo is, let's see what we've got. I'm going to pull, I'm going to start pulling names right now for these 16 cards. Hopefully you spelled it right. And now once I put this in, I can't, I'm not going to refresh the page. So, all right, here we go. Taekwondo is the key word. And then we'll also go back and pick those last two. Now you don't have to be publicly subscribed for this. Give you a couple more seconds just because i need a moment to do something i have to bring up microsoft word and leave my uh microsoft word that long that long letter that i send everybody i don't want to lose that again so i'm going to copy and paste that into word because i have to copy and paste the uh throwback thursday link all right so got that little comment there let me go ahead and grab that i'm going to do it now guys so copy and paste i've got the link all right here we go so it was at 131 now i would very much like if you're publicly subscribed but you don't have to be for this you just have to be in here all right so let's see i'm gonna hit the lights again to reduce the glare there's the uh there we go let's go ahead and fetch them all Taekwondo, your comment has to have the word Taekwondo in it. Someone's going to watch this video like five years from now and be like, why is everyone saying Taekwondo? Like, what the heck? Reading the comments. Uh, we were at 113. We're up to... Wow. That's crazy. So there was 1,200 comments, but it went back down to 800 because we're only doing unique users. And that, that makes sense because there's 840 people in here right now. All right, so the first card up, this is going to be for a... Victor Robles autograph. Now, this is a special only for you guys in the uh, live stream, so I'm going to have to go back and I have to copy and paste my little note. I'm going to be sending you guys these notes as well. Let's go ahead and see who our live stream winner is. Thank you very much for hanging out here tonight, guys. It's going to be Top Hat Ninja, and he's got the key word. You've got the magic word. I should probably zoom in a little bit better. Yeah, Top Hat Ninja, congratulations. You have the magic word let's go ahead and go back and see if uh, honestly you don't have to be publicly subscribed i just have to contact you now so top hat here's your little s specific instructions because you have to reply to my comment so that we can i see that you left a million comments there but luckily it's you know it only counts one of them anyway it takes one of your comments congratulations top hat You've got the Victor Robles rookie card autograph. Next up, Bill Mazeroski 1959 Tops All Star card. Let's go ahead and pull that winner. That one's going to go to from Tracy with love. All right, Tracy. Let's see. If, um, you know what? I'm not, I, I shouldn't even say, let's see. You don't have to be publicly subscribed. I'd love it if you were. Just have to contact you now. You're not subscribed. I hope you will consider doing so. You've got a 59 tops coming your way just for hanging out with us tonight. Bill Mazeroski, very nice one, courtesy of the Pen Packs. Next up is a Walker Bueller game or player-worn jersey card. This is a hit. It's from Tom Wing. He's got the magic word. Tom Wing. And he's publicly subscribed, which I very much appreciate it. Tom Wing, Walker Bueller. Next up, Logan Webb. I should probably zoom out just a tad bit so we can get these cards on the screen a little bit better. Logan Webb, let's see who gets it. You gotta say Taekwondo and uh, Zach Dixon. You've got it. Congratulations! Thank you very much for watching tonight, Zach, and hanging out with us in this live stream. There's Melinda. There's Zach. There you go. Melinda and Zach, a tag team, watching together. It looks like. Thank you guys, Zach. You got it. That's the Logan Webb on card. 
Next one up, we'll just keep on pulling them off the top here. I love this card. Luis Robert, rookie debut. I don't think I have that one. I almost considered just putting that in my own personal pile, but really appreciate you guys hanging out tonight. Let's see who gets this one. This one goes to Troy Lennon, who's got the magic word. Troy Lennon. There you go. There's your instructions. Thank you for hanging out tonight, Troy. We'll probably be done, by the way, in case you're wondering. Probably right around 11. Uh, next up, rookie debut card of Yordi. Jordan Alvarez for Shadow. He's got... Hey, Heather, good good choice of word there. It's very... Um, would that say Shadow? Shadow. Let's go ahead and contact them. Very good choice of word. Very easy to spot. And Shadow is publicly subscribed. I appreciate you doing so. Shadow, you got a Yordi coming your way. Jordan Alvarez. How about a Ryan Mountcastle? This is one of the top rookie cards. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Uh, Kenneth Barreto says, my favorite card was Lou Gehrig. Kenneth, that's not what we're after, so we got to pull another one. That's a cool comment, but Dan K. Dizzle is our next winner. Dan K. Dizzle. He said the magic word. You get the uh, the card. It's the Ryan Mountcastle. Dan K. Dizzle. Alec Baum, 52 Tops rookie card is next. A very nice card. Probably worth about five bucks. Nice one for those of you. Jehovah Witness is our next contestant. You've won it. Let's just go ahead and track you down. There you go. There's your information. Jehovah Witness. Got to write it on the card. Next up, we've got a Joey Bart. 1952 style design. These are all courtesy of the pen box, by the way. It's going to Marlin Man. Got the magic word there, Marlin Man. So we've got a few more of these cards to do for the folks hanging out in the live stream. Uh, Marlin Man, congratulations. We've got the Joey Bart. Said the magic word. We're doing 16 cards here as a bonus for just for you guys hanging out. Next one is the Casey Mize rookie card from 2021 Top Series 1. That one's going to JT Sports Collectors. You said the magic word there. JT Sports Collectors. Let's track you down and contact you. Thank you very much, by the way, for being subscribed. Really appreciate that, JT. JT Sports Collectors. Next card is the Christian Pache. Just another nice one. Very, very nice. like that one a lot. It's about a $5 card. J-A-S-N-O-C has it. Let's go ahead and send you... By the way, thank you for being subscribed. Christian Pache for you. A lot of people thank Dave Penn for donating these cards for the giveaway. Next up, we have a really nice one. This is one of my favorite ones. It's the 65 Yastrzemski. Pulled that out of the pen pack from the pen box yesterday. It's for Jesse Rideout. Jesse Rideout. Congratulations. Jesse Rideout. Here's your instructions. And uh, we've got a few more to go here. Next up is this David Bodie. It's a parallel David Bodie. For, it's a prism. So that one's going to MLB card breaks. MLB card breaks. You said, wait a minute, you said early. That's not for you. You didn't say the magic word. Let's pull another one. D. Ott did say the magic word. There we go. Don't want to screw up the system there. So you're subscribed. You said the magic word. You got the David Bodie Prism Bat Donut Refractor. How about next up, what do we got? We have an auto here from the pen box. It is the Stevie Emanuels. I don't know much about him, but someone's going to get that card. It's going to go to George Albanese. Let's check out George Albanese. Uh, he said the magic word. George, maybe... If you are not publicly subscribed, I hope you're at least subscribed. It's still loading. It won't let me reply to you, George. What's up with that? I'm, I don't like waiting around for comments to load, so we'll try this again. For some reason, George, it doesn't like uh, your... It doesn't, it's not letting me 
comment back to you. What's up with this YouTube? All right, so... George, I'm going to reserve this card for you. I see you're here. I'm going to put your name on it. You can send me an email. I'll, uh, I'll have to go back to you there and see if I can get that comment to load. Let's next up go to the Aristides Aquino. Max, am I, Sam, I am, said the magic word. Okay, Max, am I, Sam, I am. Yep, there you are. I'm just going to reply down here, man, because that for, for whatever reason, that top comment's not working. So we have the information right there for you for the Aristides Aquino, Max I am, Sam I am, got you. All right, so now we have the Gavin Lux, Gavin Lux, rookie card from the pen pack. And by the way, that's the last of the pen packs it's for Gavin Martin. Let's go ahead and find him. Gavin Martin. He's publicly subscribed. But um, for whatever reason, I guess uh, the comments are broken now on that video. Maybe you got slammed with too many at once. So, Gavin Martin, congratulations. I just contacted you through another comment you left on the 85K. We still got you. So, George, I'm going to have to see if I can find you. All right, so we're down to our last two cards here. The uh, That's the, the it for the uh, pen box giveaway. Thank you very much, by the way. And there you see some of my private YouTube stats. <laughs> Whoops, where are we at now? Here we go. All right, so we have to show you now the top two cards that are left. We only have two more cards. Thank you very much for being here tonight, everybody. I hope that you will please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. So we have a Harmon Killebrew one of one and a Ted Williams. Let's start off with a um, Harmon Killebrew. One of one. Very nice card right there. Harmon Killebrew. Let's see who is going to get this one. Harmon Killebrew. Here we go. The Killebrew is going to Manuel Pacheco. All right, Manuel. Congratulations. That's a great card right there. Manuel Pacheco. And um, there he is. Now, this one's not loading from the 85K giveaway, so I'm just going to I'm gonna contact you through another one of your comments. You got the Harmon Killebrew, Manuel. Congratulations. And uh, you've bought into our breaks before, so I think there might even be still be some cards on the shelf for you. Congratulations on that one. And we're down to our final card of the night. He is a, he's a um, channel member, so that's for me, I count that as the same for those of you that are wondering about that. The last one of the night, it is a Ted Williams, Ted Williams bat and jersey relic. Let's see who it's going to. Final one. It's going to Coma, Coma, C-O-M-A, Coma, and they are publicly subscribed, so congratulations. That top comment, not loading, I, it won't let me to re reply to it, so I'm going to reply to your other one here, and you have the Ted Williams, and that will do it for tonight. Ted Williams goes to Coma. Thank you, everybody, for your support. We'll have another one of these giveaways at 90K, so that might take another, uh, I don't know, another couple months, but uh, the sooner we get there, the sooner we will do that giveaway again. Thank you very much for hanging out here tonight. I will work on all these cards over the next couple days and try to have them all out within the next uh, couple days to you guys. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And by the way, those last two cards didn't need the word Taekwondo. Because those were back from the, um, those were the top two cards from the giveaway. The Taekwondo was only for the people that were in here. Those last two cards were from um, the original giveaway. So they didn't need that. For those of you that were wondering why they didn't have the uh, keyword Taekwondo. I see a couple people confused about that. I saved the last two cards for last. And by the way, the, la the person that won the Killebrew was a channel member. And I count that the same as uh, sub publicly subscribed. Uh, so thank you very much. I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday. No, I don't even know what day it is. A great rest of your Sunday. Tomorrow we'll have Mystery Box Monday. Tuesday we'll have a brand new video about Heather and I, our trip today. We took about a seven-hour trip looking for cards. And then Wednesday, I'm not sure yet. We'll probably have a live stream. Some people seem to like the idea of me sitting down and putting a set together from scratch, putting them all together. Uh, card number one through three, what is it, 330. And I uh, hope you guys will tune in for that. 
I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and thanks for 85K, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.